It's the ninth annual. Can you believe that? The ninth annual. Yeah, so this is the Hawaii Energy Policy Forum's ninth annual Hawaii Clean Energy Day. And this time, what? Pathways to Pathways Clean Transportation. To clean Transportation. Why are you doing this subject now? We've been working on this subject for many years. Yeah. And this is the first time we've got an alignment of stars. We've had the State Department of Transportation, the counties on board, community, um, the private sector. We hope everyone comes and gives input because this year we want it to be conversations with and really get some action going. You know, you know it's not just energy. Transportation touches everything we do and everything we are. Right. It touches our quality of life, our daily lifestyle, our children, uh, and, and what they do, with the community, the society, the economy. That's Transportation right. is the center of everything. That's Shannon. right. You move people, you move goods, you move, you move the whole society. And if you can't move it, you're clogged up. So yeah. is your economy, so is your quality of life. So and there's all these really issues. Important. I mean, of course, energy is a big one, and that's your primary interest. But there's issues around, you know, the congestion, issues around, as you say, moving people and goods all around. There's issues about how much time you spend, how much money you spend, uh, issues about where you can work, where you can live. That's you right. know, it's, it's everything in life. And furthermore, it's, it's open spaces, it's public spaces, it's creating new and, new and better spaces right. and therefore right. a better city to live in. And it's all of us, and we're hoping to have a lot of people come in with their ideas, but productive ideas so that we can actually move forward, not just talk about it or grumble about it, but do something about yeah, it. Yeah, so and it's not only a matter that. of being informed, it's a matter of being informed to the point where you take a position whatever it is, and take action. Right. You know? Commit to doing something about it. Yeah, yes, yeah. Yes. So uh, what, how do you break down the time? What's, what's okay, in the program? So we've got, it's jam-packed as usual. Always. So we, we, start <laughs> off, we start off the morning with um, information. What has Department of Transportation done? Some examples from the counties that we have been doing some things. Mm -hmm. Maybe some people think not enough. Some people think we should do something differently. But let's hear from people who are doing things. Okay. So the, the uh, afternoon session is where we start kind of like the rubber meets the road, uh, where we get into the vision, but not only vision, also action. How do we get from that vision to the pathways to really do something? And we're going to have a dialogue session where people can speak about what they've heard and what they think, and let's come up with some priority actions. So this is more than just the ordinary talk it fest. Is more You're trying than to come up with fest. points, uh, policy points, action points to follow right. going forward. Right. And we have asked to. You know, people don't like to hear outside consultants, but these are people who have actually done things. So uh, we've got uh, Consular Craig Dirksen, who was a former mayor in the city of uh, Portland area. Um, Portland's done Portland very well. Portland has done very well. We need well. to hear from Portland. Yeah, so he's going to tell us how they went from vision to actually it's creating great a stuff, system. stuff, Sharon. This is important. So, so people can hear, hey, it can be done. It can be done, and let's do it. Let's do it well for Hawaii. Yeah, well, this is going to be terrific. This is going to be, may I, may I say, the best ever? Can I say that? I hope so. I hope I'm so. I'm sure it's going to be. <laughs> Actually, this is the first time we're going to have a dialogue among the participants and hope to come out on the other side of it with our usual meeting sift, polling, yeah. to have some priorities. Some engagement. Set, engagement with the audience, forward. not only in the room but outside the room. Uh, try to get feedback from the community, get them involved in the, mm -hmm. in the decision process mm -hmm. on policy. Mm -hmm. So where and when? Okay, August 28th, that's a Monday, and it'll be at the YWCA, mm -hmm. Cafe Julia. We, we close down the whole place. Cafe Julia, we'll have some, some continental breakfast, lunch, and some, uh, what we call the, the poo-poo, er, the but it's called the uh, people's power party <laughs> so Good. that we can re we can have conversations with and dialogue and that's how things happen yeah so it's the it's the uh, it's the cafe, cafe it's the, the, the courtyard the courtyard and, and it's full of hall yeah it's so the whole YWCA the whole so we want people to sign up register um, I don't know if you've got the website address but if you go to Hawaii energy policy dot Hawaii dot edu yeah you can get on and register we also have a few Few spaces for exhibitors. Some of the exhibitors we already have are like Tesla, and oh, you can come and ride their 
their autonomous car. I want to do yeah, that. Sign up and check it out. Yeah. And we have uh, uh, Henry Zhao's uh, Aloha e-bikes. So of you course. Can just get yeah, the electric yeah. e-bikes you yeah. can test out. And we're, we're hoping for a few other transportation. I think Hart is looking at coming over and telling us what they're doing. Uh, some of the exhibitors that can really show us what's happening in transportation. Yeah, transportation is so important. Transportation will help us meet our goals, not only in energy, but in creating a livable, friendly, um, you know, uh, pedestrian oriented. City. Interesting how transportation leads us to pedestrian and friendly That's cities, right. That's which right. is what we've got to do. Right. And, and everybody has a part in this because it's our future and it's our children's future if we don't plan right now. Yeah.